Okay, let's talk about another example of a group, the Klein 4 group. Um, so the Klein 4 group, we can think of, um, well, we can think of it as a group of matrices. So perhaps as a subgroup of GLNR. So we'll say K4 is a subgroup. Um, a subgroup of G, L, N, R. Um, and in particular, the Klein 4 group contains uh, the identity matrix, uh, the identity matrix but with one of the components flipped, uh, the one with the other component flipped, um, and finally, the uh, negative identity matrix. And so what we can see um, from the Klein 4 group is that it, there are four elements. Um, so you can call them, you know, 1, x, y, and z, say. And then when we multiply, so there's, well, there's the identity. And of course, when we multiply the identity by anything, um, we get the identity again. But when we multiply two of the other matrices, right, these will multiply. It's just a diagonal matrix. And we get the other one. And same if we go here. If we multiply these two matrices, we'll get the other one. And same with these two. If we multiply these two, we'll get this one. Um, so it would be like um, z equals x times y. Um, so we could write it as this, 1x, y, x, y. And of course, x squared is 1, and y squared is 1, 